Good morning, afternoon, whatever time it is where you're at. I was uh, running around doing some things, figured, hey, I didn't get to put a video out this morning. Uh, why not do this? So here I am. Um, I'll kind of talk until uh, some comments pop up. What's up, Brazos Valley? Hey, actually, let's see if I can't get back here real quick. I kept kind of stuck. Sorry for my butt shots. Ugh. Got this package um, from Brazos Valley, which they always leave the nicest notes. But uh, she made, let me read this. Um, what's up, Wayne? I told you I was driving. Um, I think it says in here, I think this is a, I made these YouTube soaps for you. Um, yeah, so these are soaps that um, uh, Bridles Valley Soaps created. Check this out. Look at this. Of course, it's backwards because it's supposed to be this way, but the thing's on there. The label but you could see uh this on here that's awesome uh freaking youtube thing but it's the crockers the crockers youtube soap um just through the plastic you could smell it a little bit it smells freaking awesome so i'm pretty excited about that and of course i already took one uh what's up jesus girl i already took one out but there's another one this is my absolute favorite um, but she made, I don't know how many bars are in here. Shoot, bang. I think there's even more. I don't know, a bunch of bars of soap. Um, but yeah, YouTube soap. So maybe, uh, some of you guys, if you want some, um, what is the scent? I don't know. Uh, the scent is Jason... Uh, the Crocker's YouTube soap is a scent. Um, I really don't know what the actual scent would be on this, to be completely honest. And I still have some of the other with a tint, so I might do like a, uh, a thing for Christmas. It's lemongrass, eulipicus, I can't say that right, eucalyptus, eu I don't know, I can't talk good. Okay, same scent as a tent. That's awesome. Um, on a different note, I'm kind of embarrassed to say this, but I bought reading glasses. And uh, it's a simple life. Florida chick. Um, I bought reading glasses today. Uh, you guys know that I've been kind of like trying to read comments and whatnot. So, very weird that I have glasses on right now. I don't normally wear glasses, but figured I would test this out. Uh, definitely see it up close. This is just um, 1.25 uh, magnified, I think. Watching you from the tiny house, taking a break from work. Greenhouse, one acre. Hey, one of us has got to work. Pine Acres, did the coasters come in? Are you talking about... Um, I think I had those in here as well. Um, we'll just turn this into a mail hall with what I got. Where is that box? I gotta find the box. Um, I got so much stuff in my truck, it's absolutely ridiculous. Um, they sent, <laughs> I got animal crackers. I got all sorts of stuff in here. These are some shirts and hoodies that I got myself so I could practice screen printing on. Where is it? I want to show the people. I don't remember which side I put them on. 
They might be on this side. Dang it. I don't remember if I put them in the tiny house. We got a big bag of dog food because it's raining. I really want to show y'all, but I feel like I'm being a terrible host here. I'm not uh, talking to you guys right this second. Dang it, I'll have to look for them later. Uh, I got way too much stuff in here. Um, but yeah, they were really cool. They were like custom made. I don't think they're in the front seat. I don't know. I know I saw them. Clean out the truck. Yes, space in the micro house. Uh, no, I don't because I'm cleaning out the uh, the big tiny house. Gray beard, glasses. You're turning the corner, man. Yeah, I look more like Ridge Life or something. Um, uh, I don't really. I I never wore glasses until like I can read the comments, but when they get too far away, um, this is a lot bigger. So these are just uh, to test. Um, my vision is still really good, but, um, it's getting, it's not, it's not as good. Jason, you actually suit and glasses, mate. Thanks. Can you hang your painting of the Cardinal in your shed? Um, yeah, I guess I could. Uh, I just have it in, in, um, a box in the, uh, tiny house because I didn't want to mess it up. But yeah, I could, um. I guess the smoke smell won't hurt it none. What's up, Ridge Life? But uh, one of the reasons, Farmer Brad, yeah, I'm doing good. Um, as you guys know, Jaylena left, and uh, she's doing her own thing. If you haven't watched her video, you can go uh, check that out. Yeah, it is raining. Um, I tried doing a coffee crocker this morning. And it didn't really work all that great. And then um, my good camera uh, finally just died on me. Uh, it works, but this screen, flip out screen, it doesn't work at all. And this eyepiece one barely works. So I had to bite the bullet and figure out a solution for that. So that's why I've been running around uh, without a camera. I can't really put my videos out. Um, yeah. It's a day for coffee at 1 p.m. Hustle hard. Yeah. Um, I got a lot of catching up to do. And I hate this time of year where it gets dark so early. Um, like it's 1 p.m. And I'm going to get home and have like four hours of sun. I hate it. I got a lot of feedback in the sh oh, in a sheep Facebook group of other ways for me to catch. I mean, Ram. There you go. Uh, I love different groups. I used to be in a whole bunch of, like, um, just random groups, really, on Facebook. And then, just like any group, they get out of hand when they get too big. And uh, it all becomes, like, political and all stuff. It's kind of the same thing um, with uh, the Crocker family group. Um, I've almost given up on it, to be completely honest. Yeah, you will get your uh, your negative comments, kind of the uh, it's the beauty of YouTube. What's up, Bigfoot Farmer? Um, are they calling for the white stuff for you? Yeah, um, I think tonight, like late, late tonight, like 2, 3 a.m., it could snow tonight. So I honestly thought, and I told Jacob, he just kind of laughed, but... Um, I'm thinking about doing a video tonight, and I just sleep outside in my sleeping bag that's rated for zero degrees, and really put it to the test, and um, just be like, hey, are these sleeping bags worth getting? Are they really rated to keep you warm at zero degrees? Um, I don't think it'll be zero, but it'll be cold enough to snow. You better save one for Jaylena. Uh, are you talking about the soaps? I'm assuming. If so, there's plenty. Sounds like a miserable night. I know, that's the beauty of it. Um, you could watch me. People love to watch me suffer. So, I think I might try that. We have any hoodies on the first shoot dang release? Uh, yeah, that's what I'm trying. So, um, connecting. Alright, I think I'm back. Um, and 
Jacob actually texted me earlier was just like, hey, I got some of your shirts in. And, uh, and I was like, oh, awesome. So I got the heat press, I got the shirts. I'm just waiting for the transfers to put on there. And um, yeah, so um, I'm super excited. And then like these hoodies, I got two of them, one in gray and then one is dark gray. And I'm going to try to put images on there. And I'm really, within like the next week, going to try to get some shirts where you guys can buy them. I mean, it's going to be work, work, work. But, that's my whole life. I think someone said Jiffy Shirt. Jiffy Shirt is a good place to order in bulk. So where I got it from, I ordered 550 shirts. Um, so I am ready. I got 25 shirts from small to extra large, 25 in each size, and then I got 2X and 3X with whatever they had. Um, it's about 10 shirts a piece, and I got five different colors. I got black, pink, green, well, like olive army green, gray, and red, I think, like a dark red. So I got five colors sizes from small to x to 2x and then um different designs for shirts so i'm gonna try to uh do all that so uh, what i'm gonna try to do is do some bulk um package deals that way you get more for technically less like yes you gotta spend more money but um olive army green is my favorite i'm telling you i love those shirts it, like every time I do shirts, I have to do like all of army green. I love it with black ink. I I, I don't know. I just really like it. Um, you didn't get for <laughs> Colby Ranch. Uh, the biggest size that I could that I could get was uh, I think I got three X maybe. Yeah, two X and three X, and I couldn't get anything bigger than that. They're all sold out. So I guess they don't really have as much. And then plus those shirts um, cost twice as much as the uh, smaller sizes. So I'm just digging into my own pocket for that one, but making any hats. Um, I personally can't because um, I'm, I don't have the means, but I thought about buying some and then re like reselling them, not for a profit, just um, basically wholesale price or whatever price I gotta pay. <laughs> CBR is a big old boy. Well, CBR right here. I'll say this. He's getting some good marketing on my podcast. I did three of them, and uh, they all got this hoodie on. I cut the sleeves off to make it a workout shirt. That's funny. Yeah, sometimes when people send me shirts that are too big, I just cut the sleeves off. I, great for summer. But yeah, eventually I'd like to um, make hats, but I might buy a coffee mug press. So I might get coffee mugs and of course do like, you know, coffee to crocker, stuff like that, but shoot dang coffee mugs. Uh, Matt's working on websites and all that stuff for it too, so pretty funny, or uh, pretty excited. Cut the sleeves and the bottom. Yeah, simple life. If the shirt's a little too big, <laughs> I'll cut the bottom off too. Coffee mugs be great. Yeah, um, and then the thing too is like, so when I posted on um, the Crocker family group about shoot dang, Jason, are you going to have purple shirt sometime? Yeah, at some point. Right now, I'm trying to keep it as simple as possible to get it out for Christmas. Um, but after that is when full-blown... Because I, I still, I'm still getting my feet wet in this. I've never made shirts before. So um, I'm taking a huge leap of faith, hoping and fingers crossed that this works out. If not, I'm out of a lot of money. Great multi-channel e-commerce All right, I'll have to check that out. Uh, thanks, uh, Farmer Brad. Um, yeah, I am having a pretty good day. It's rainy. Of course, it's been rainy all day. Uh, my camera broke, but I got that situation taken care of and got my coffee. I got off some stuff. I bought some reading glasses so I could uh, read comments a little bit better, hopefully. And um, I need to shave. This mustache is getting way over my lip. But, yeah. 
I'm going to start trying to wear glasses um, when I read if I can't see good. Jason, if you go ahead with sleeping outside tonight, make sure to put a tarp overhead. Yeah, that would be the only thing I have is a small tarp so if it rains or snows, it's not directly on me. But yeah, uh, I'm going to do that. Um, all right, Brazos Valley, um, you get back to work because one of us got to work. <laughs> Those are sexy glasses. I don't know about that. They're clear, but with like a black tint to them, I think. I may do coffee to crockers where I only wear glasses. Um, ooh, you have to get a shot in your eyeball next week. That ain't cool. It's just weird, though, having glasses on. I'm not used to that. It's definitely something I'm going to have to uh, just wear. Did I miss the reveal? Oh, uh, no, so pretty much, I screwed up, man, um, I waited way too long to do my Dale skit, and it ruined it, but I'll show y'all, so I did like a mohawk, kinda, like raccoon look, and then Jaylena put shoot dang on this side, and then on this side, it says America, and it's got stars, and then, um, my tail was black and orange <laughs> but I, I waited too long you can't really see it that good so and then even my mustache i don't know if anyone noticed my mustache but i dyed that too so it was definitely a uh, different color than normal gray and black <laughs> but yeah I, I waited too long man and and now my hair is too long where you can't really uh read what it says so all that for nothing and uh to be completely honest when we did it I had to lay on my side like this for 30 minutes, and she wrote shoot dang with the dye, and I had to sit there for 30 minutes so it would mess up. Then we washed it out, and then I had to sit on this side. She wrote America for 30 minutes, and then had to wash it out. That was after I sat there for 30 minutes to bleach my head, and then we had to do the mohawk and the tail. So I spent like four hours doing this, and then I didn't even put it in a freaking video. I'm kind of mad at myself. Um, it was a lot of hard work for nothing. Absolutely nothing. Like you can't even you can't even tell that says freaking shoot dang. You can definitely tell the raccoon stripe, which is kind of legit. It's kind of awesome. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm kind of mad at myself. I did it though because uh, all these other wanna I'll say wannabes because there ain't there's only one Dale, only one Dale out there. But there's Ron Witherspoon and which that's pretty funny. Um, and then. I forgot the names, but I, I call him Rusty. I call him Great Value Jason. Um, because I was Great Value Rusty when I did my, my chops. And uh, um, Narrowway Farm and I think Hat Creek Homestead, they all did the different things. So I was going to try to outdo everyone and like actually like dye my hair and stuff. Then I waited too long. Screw it up. Screw it up. You should have gone to a spa, Jason. Especially if you just went on a lazy day. I've never been to a spa, never uh, never done any of that before, that'd be interesting. Go in to get my nails done, like my feet done, but like have dirt stuck all up under my toenails. <laughs> Make them earn that money. But he's not a character, that's legit. <laughs> I don't know, I, I, think it's, I think it's fun, it's interesting, and uh, to be honest, I've been having a lot of fun with the podcast, I've been, uh, I do it at night whenever uh, it's dark, and I really have got a lot going on, um, I kind of talked about that in my next episode, or the next one after that, I don't remember, but I already got two more ready to come out, um, I, I was actually uploading them today while I was running around, have you, haven't done the military skit yet, uh, We'll see. The podcast is legit. Uh, I, I'm definitely liking the way it's starting to look. I got the blue lights and stuff. I got a light in front of me. Um, my camera lens is like really well for that room. It's wide enough and it's picking up enough, enough light. The audio is coming out good. Uh, I am absolutely loving it. And you get to see a whole different side of me rather than this like goofy Jason that builds houses. Like, I'm telling you, I don't know how to build houses. I don't know how to build stuff. I just kind of do it. 
but I know how to do more of like video and podcast, like audio type stuff. So, yeah, I don't know. Um, I reserve one on a fake group. Nope. I don't know. Um, so yeah, I, I get to uh, do that. The mic looks so good too. Yeah, it's a cool mic. It's a um, it's a blue, and it's a really good mic. I was into recording music for years and years and years, and blue makes very good sounding mics. And then, then I have to go in and I dial in like compressors, equalizers, uh, all that stuff. I can't stand clickbait, but sure, click on the merit. Yeah, <laughs> um, that's funny. Time that's funny. Everyone's like, I hate clickbait, but then they watch them all the time. But yeah, I, I get it. You could do a snake drumming video. <laughs> That'd be interesting. learned a lot from Josh Satin's content on content second channel. Josh, I don't know who that is. I thought I did, but I don't, I don't know if I know. Uh, I just showed my hair uh, earlier, so just go back and re-watch. I showed it as much as I could. Uh, I really enjoyed the clickbait podcast. You spoke the truth. Yeah, I mean... That's the thing is, I think I'm, think I'm going to start making some channels mad with what I say on there, but I'm going to keep it real and I'm going to like try to teach you guys the ins and outs of YouTube from my perspective. It's only my opinion. You guys can do whatever you want, but I've learned the good, the bad, and the ugly from YouTube and I want to pass that along because at the end of the day, uh, YouTube is not a competition. It's great to have like friendly competition, but... At the end of the day, it's not a competition. There is enough, there's millions of people that watch YouTube. So there's plenty of people out there that will subscribe to everyone's channels. So I want to teach you guys the best I can to do it. Uh, Auntie Ann, the Crocker's Unleashed Podcast. You put a link. Thank you so much for that. What's up, Hood's Custom Shop? Um, I agree that Clickbait Podcast was great. I'm learning a lot from you and Jaylen. Awesome. I'm glad somebody's getting some stuff out of it. Uh, Ridge Life, five dollars super chat, thumbs up. <laughs> Thanks, man. Um, did you mean for me to do a thumbs up? You'll get two for five bucks. Buy, buy one get one free. Kind of like knuckle sandwiches. Mullet man in the house. Oh man. Okay, so <laughs> he's definitely an inspiration to one of my new shirts. Oh, I was gonna show you, but I'm using my phone. Uh, if you haven't checked it out, I have a mullet shirt for Shoot Dan. It's me coming out. And uh, I almost put Mullet Man on there. But I think he's doing a Mullet Man shirt, I think. Uh, if he does, I'm buying it. Jared, also don't copy another channel's videos all the time. <laughs> yeah, uh, too many channels do that where they just like legit copy. It's like, all right, I've already seen this video from the bigger channel. We don't need to watch you do the exact same thing. Um, but... Yeah, it's just one of those. Sounds like, yeah, it's raining. It's supposed to snow tonight. So, it'll be interesting how this plays out. <laughs> There's Jared. I can't tell who, but someone just sent me a picture on Facebook. It's always iffy when someone sends me a picture and I don't know what it is. I'm like, eh. Should I click on this? I don't know. I'll say this. The gas station coffee here is pretty dang good. You should get signed up for Instacart and do it when it's raining. What's that? I don't know what Instacart is. I'll have to look into that. I always keep it real if they don't like it on the watch. Yeah. Um... Truth definitely hurts. I guess Jaws is in the house. I wish it would snow in South Carolina for me. Eh, nah, I ain't a fan of snow. Snow's cool for about five minutes, but, uh, yeah. It's me, Jason. Check her out. All right, I'll have to look. I don't know what you sent me, but I'll look. Hovita! I learned something new today, clickbait. I honestly thought you were, what? 
talking about fishing bait. <laughs> yeah, no, clickbait is definitely something on social media and whatnot. But yeah, that's awesome that uh, Jovito that you're watching and stuff. That's super cool. I appreciate you uh, supporting me and Jared and stuff. Uh, it's super nice of you. What's up, Dave? I have a big wood burning stove. If you want to look at it and make an offer, just give me a holler. Um, I actually already have a wood burning stove for um, the tiny house. Um, I didn't know this person had it, but they did. I, I don't want to ruin the surprise for the video, but um, yeah, I got one. Um, I appreciate the offer, though. Greenhorn, one acre, $10 super chat. Get yourself a beanie for your outside sleep. All right, I'll do that. Thanks, man. It's finally starting to cool off here in South Carolina. It's cooled off here a long time ago. Um, yesterday, it was actually in the 50s. It's, uh, it's so dumb. It'll be 20 degrees and 50 degrees and 10 degrees, 80 degrees. Did you check out Toonstead for graphics? Uh, no. So... I'm not really going more for the cartoon style for my shoot dang shirts, at least not right now. Um, I have ideas in my head, I just don't know how to describe it. If you're an artist, I could describe it and you could draw it, but um, yeah, uh, I'm looking more for a certain type. Um, shout out to you and Jerry for m making me a YouTuber. Before this, I had zero knowledge social media. Hey, Jovita, you know the Crockers always hook you up. Um, we'll show you the right way. We always treat you right. For a lot of you don't, that don't know Jovita, she's been in our lives for years and years and years. Um, super, super nice person. Anytime we go down uh, south and stuff, you know, she always recognizes us and stuff like that. So it's super cool that uh, you're watching. So, hey, I... Again, I truly appreciate you uh, watching and supporting and being in our lives more now. It's not just when we go down there. I've added a few new products. How is your chicken setup? Um, my chicken setup up here is slim to none. I have like a chicken coop almost finished. But um, Jared was actually going to bring some chickens up last time but didn't. So uh, I will... I got chicken feeders. Um... I got two chicken feeders, but I need to get like nesting boxes and waterers and all that type of stuff. So uh, once I get that and the next time I go down to Jared's, I'll probably bring up like four or five chickens. Um, that way I can start having eggs. But uh, the Sawyers gave me some eggs and then Jared gave me some eggs. So I got eggs for now. So pretty excited about that. Still in the 50s here. Yeah, today, I don't know what the temperature is right now. How the bunnies doing? Oh, they're doing amazing. They're so big. Oh my gosh. I see. I didn't know. We've raised rabbits before, but kind of just as like a hobby. I didn't really like do anything with them, I guess. So I didn't pay attention to them that much. But the smaller number of rabbits of babies that there are, the faster and bigger they grow. Which, you know, you kind of expect. They get more you know, food or whatever, but holy cow, when these suckers came out, newborn, they're like this big, and then, uh, they're like, they're big, I don't know, it's nuts, uh, when I fed them this morning, they were all out, and I was like, holy cow, so technically, I need to ask the Sawyers when I need to take them from the mom, and kind of let them grow out in the pen by itself, I didn't think about that till right now. Oh, I wish it was summer all the time. I hate the winter. It's cool content for YouTube, but other than that, I hate it. Dell's an upcoming Dell in an upcoming video working. Maybe Dell is awesome. Um, yeah, I'm trying to come up with something good. Uh, I really want it to be legit, so I'm thinking. I'm trying to get it. So you can customize it for your needs. I must have. Did I miss another comment from you? Oh, there you go. You could set up rain catchment. Uh, I could send you a do-it-yourself kit for the water if you like. Hey, that'd be awesome. Um, I know your stuff's good, and I know you know what you're talking about. So, yeah, I definitely want to do a rain catchment and stuff for that. How do you normally cook rabbit? The only time I ever cooked rabbit was on a barbecue pit. 
Um, I think the Sawyers normally do it like in a crock pot. You don't free range your rabbits like Jared. Yeah, Jared's just like, oh, here, rabbit, be free. Um. Winter sucks, yeah. Remove nest box, three weeks, wean for mom for six weeks. Okay. Uh, so now I need to go back and figure out when these suckers are born. I need to start writing. Somebody sent me, all right. I talked about, about this in a podcast. I don't remember if it was today's podcast. I think it's one coming up. But someone sent me a YouTube planner and journal. 2021 edition. I'm going to get my life together, folks. I'm going to start writing stuff down, planning things, and... Uh, I'm shooting for a better year or year next year. So if you're in here and you sent this, you're the best. I talked about it in my podcast. They sent me the same planner. That's funny. I didn't even know this was a thing. I Miss mean, Cool. So yeah, I'm gonna start doing that. Um, I probably won't stay on too much longer. This was just, I was uploading videos, I went into town, I had to figure out my camera situation, all that stuff, and I got coffee, and I was like, hey, you know what? Let's go live real quick. Pouring rain in Claremore, I'm ready for sunshine. Yeah, it's not pouring here, but it's been raining all day. Um, a good, a good enough amount that it sucks. And I was gonna go to the Sawyer's not today, but uh, today, Wednesday. I was going to do Thursday and Friday and uh, chop down just a ton of trees at the Sawyers. And uh, Jacob was like, yeah, maybe this will wait till next week. So, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Put rabbit meat in Dutch oven with potatoes and carrots. All day in the coals. Huh, that'd be interesting. I'm actually going to, for my next meal today, which will be in my next video probably... I'm gonna make like a stew. I'm pretty excited. Kind of how I made my beaver uh, meat stew a year ago. I'm gonna do like that. How much? <laughs> how much Tibet Jason uses the page out of the book as fire starter? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm gonna try to use it a little better than that. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna attempt to use it. Why is some of your hair brown through the black? Just never noticed. Uh, I showed earlier, it was a, it's supposed to be a Dale skit. I waited way too long. Same reason my mustache is not the same color as everything else. Um, I dyed it. And on the side, it's supposed to say shoot dang. And then on this side, it's supposed to say America. That's why I got stars. And then my tail is uh, dyed black and brown and stuff. Um, I spent like, shoot four hours trying to uh, do this for a skit and then ruined it. Wasted my time and Jaylena's. But yeah, I think I'm going to jump off, drive home, uh, do all that. Uh, I did pick up something else that's pretty pretty cool that I'm excited. Because uh, Ivy's Forge and Homestead, that's a channel if you haven't checked them out. Uh, I don't have it with me, but I have something else. Ugh. I have a rock-solid uh, premium Cornish hen without giblets. 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 Um, I'm going to cook this on um, a piece of cooking utensil type thing that Ivy's Forge and Homestead literally forged for me. It's pretty cool. If you watch Jared's video, uh, the hook that we were taking the um, cast iron pot lid off, that's part of it, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna cook that up with that. Um, probably not today because it's raining, but yeah, yeah, it would have been a good skit. Um, I just let it I let it grow out too much that you can't really tell anymore what it says. So kind of bum, but hey, sometimes it don't work. The Dawn of Van Life just posted a video just now. Hey, that's awesome. 
Are the Sawyers all right? No video lately. Uh, yeah, I mean, I talk to them almost every day. Um, I mean, they got a lot going on in their lives outside of YouTube. Uh, weather hasn't been the best. They've been um, doing things. I mean, I'm not going to... They'll probably post a video pretty soon. I'll say that. Uh, Ridge Life, $5 Super Chat. $5 to go in bank without your hat on it and ask for a loan application. Yeah, they'll probably just tell me to leave. Um, but if I do do that, I'm definitely going in. I'm talking about this. I'm saying, I don't need me a freaking loan. Um, how much, how much money can you give, give me? My credit score, what's credit? Where is Melissa? Shoot, I don't know. Um, I haven't talked to her since she hasn't been up here. So, I don't know. Almost no communication with that one. Hopefully she's doing well, though. I don't know what she's doing. Uh, she was posting videos and then disappeared. No more haircuts. Yeah, I need to grow my hair out. Want to be on the fly on the wall when you do? Yeah, I'll film it with like a GoPro on my chest. Is Jared still thinking part-time with you? Uh, yeah. <laughs> That'd be hilarious, Jason. Please do it. Um... I'm waiting for the package deal. You talking about like shirts? Um, what are we talking about? Oh yeah, Jared. Uh, yeah, he's a. Uh, I mean, he's considering. It's not something he's gonna do just overnight, but uh, yeah, definitely a consider or consideration. Have you heard from Melissa? No, uh, I, I just talked about that a second ago. I haven't really heard um, from her or nothing. Good afternoon, Jason. Wet and rainy Houston. How's the weather up there? Wet and rainy. Um, it sucks. Mark McQ. Mark McQueen? I know some McQueens. Um... But yeah, guys, I guess I'm going to go ahead and jump off. Uh, last video is two months ago, kind of like Matt Payne. <laughs> Bird! <laughs> Ranchos Los, Los Rosales! Uh, man, people were asking me, um, well, someone asked me in this last video, uh, they're like, where did you get that knife? So, hey, word's getting around, man. Hopefully, uh, uh, we can get you some business doing that. But, all right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and jump off and head back. Uh, I know the dogs and goats aren't doing anything because it's raining, but I do need to get back, try to finish my video, do all that. <laughs> hey, get lost, bud. Um, Paul Honeyman, five pounds. Keep the coffee fun going, my friend. With the cold weather, you're going to need it. God bless. Thanks so much for that. I truly appreciate it. Yeah, I'll be drinking a lot of coffee. Um, I just get all hopped up. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and go uh, get back, get a fire going in a little tiny house, get some work done, um, all that stuff. A lot of stuff with the rain just means a lot of staying inside, and I hate being inside. So I'll probably work on a lot of podcasts. Um, if you're not on the Crocker family group, Please feel free to join. I know a lot of people jumped on, I think, from the last Coffee Crockers or podcast. I don't remember. But there was like 100 people yesterday that were trying to get in the um, group. So if you guys aren't on there, please get on there. I'm going to make a post asking what topics I should talk about on the podcast. And uh, let me know. And I want, it to, I want to deliver what you guys would like to watch. So, all right. I guess we'll see ya. Can you order the knife holder yet? Um, no, I mean, they're not mine. Um, I'll have to figure it out with him. I don't know how long it takes to make those or what, but I'll try getting with him and uh, see what we can do. So, um, yeah. All right, guys. I will catch you guys later. Hopefully, Coffee Crockers tomorrow. Hopefully, podcast. Well, I know podcast for the next two days already got uploaded. And then, uh, hopefully, Crockers video soon. So, see y'all.